I right? I know. <laughs> I've not posted a video for a month plus. I know I'm going to explain myself. I've been very busy with school, work, and several other things. And shooting and editing a video is not top of my priority. <laughs> I actually set a target for my YouTube channel um, to get monetized. And I hit that target in five months. Yay! I'm going to share on that um, in another video. So when I hit the target and I decided to just like take a break and focus on other things fully. Yeah, before getting back to YouTube again. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. Several of you did reach out to me to check on me if I was okay. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate that. If you're joining me for the first time, thank you for joining me. Uh, my name is Echo Francis and I share videos on my immigration journey to Canada and also on um, tech. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> if you're not joining me for the first time, thank you for joining me again. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Um, before I go to the topic for today, guys, I've been seeing all your DMs on Instagram. I have so many DMs and it's overwhelming. Like sometimes I'm even scared to go on Instagram. Because some of you call me. I'm going to give out a disclaimer again. Please. I am not a visa agent. I only share information based on my experience. Several of you have offered to pay for my services to do your application for you to review your SOP. I don't do paid services. Um, if I have time, I try to help people go through their SOPs before submission and also answer questions they have, but I don't receive payments. I do all this for free. And a lot of you have questions to ask. I try as much as possible to create time and attend to your DMs if I'm free. But it's getting too much for me because I have a lot of work. I have personal things to do and I have a lot. So if you're watching this video and I have not replied to you yet, you understand, right? <laughs> and congratulations to those of you that have had your visas approved. I'm so happy. Um, several of you have come back to share about getting your visas approved. Good news. I like seeing news like that. Because it gives me joy that what I'm sharing is of great help to people and they're actually using it well. I also see your appreciation comments too on my video and I like that. Some of you have also shared too under the comment section of some of the videos about your visa approval. So thumbs up to that. Thank you for coming back to share and I'm happy when I receive good news. Keep sharing please. So keep sharing. I like it. Some of you call me. Please don't call. I don't pick calls on Instagram. I will attend to your DMs as soon as I can, please. I don't, I, I'm even thinking of closing my DMs because the messages are getting so many and I don't like the calls I receive from people. Like you can send me messages and um, audio messages, but please don't call me. <laughs> I appreciate if you don't call because I'm not going to pick. Yeah. And then I attend to comments faster than you put under any of my videos. And there's about a few the questions you have. I've already been answered in the videos I've shared. So try as much as possible to watch my videos to be sure that the question you want to ask me have not, have not been answered yet. And some of your questions have been asked by other people. So you can also go through the comment section of my videos to really find out if your questions have been asked and um, answered. Yeah, back to today's video. Um, I actually want to take my class five driving license. Let me give you the gist of why I want to take it right now. Um, I have my driver's license from my whole country, Nigeria, and I've been driving since 2018. So as a student, I can actually drive here. When I came in here, I did not have the intention to start driving so soon because getting a car <laughs> is going to be extra cost for us. Like there's school to take care of, um, house rent, and several other things that we need to spend money on. So getting a car was not part of our plans soon but um i attended a job fair last week um i know i once shared a video of how i got my first job in canada i'm still doing that job but i don't get regular shifts because as a student i can work 20 hours a week and i'm not getting up to that i was getting up to that during the summer break because i work as a robotics and coding instructor for an after school academy. So kids go to their main school and then after school they come to learn about um, coding and robotics and other STEM parts. So now in school session, I'm not getting regular shifts and 
holiday is about to begin and I can work full time as a student and I need extra cash. There's so much <laughs> extra cash can do later. I got to know about a job fair that was happening last week. The day it was happening and I had classes that day. So after school, after my class, I just headed to the job fair and FedEx was there. I submitted my resume. So I got called last week um, and I was asked if I have a class five driver's license. And I said, no, not yet, but I plan to take it this week. Actually, I, last week, um, my husband did his and he got his license. I casually said, oh, I'm going to take mine this week because let me just take it, even if I'm not going to drive soon, but let me just take it. Although I was hundred percent sure. So when I got the call from the um, FedEx person and she asked if I had a license, I was like, oh, I'm going to take it this week. I used this past weekend to prepare together with several assignments due. I just had to put in time. And then I got flu also during the weekend though. That's why my voice is like this. I'm actually recovering from flu. But I'm going to take the test today um, by 1.55 p.m. I have a class this morning. So after the class, I have a group meeting with my team members for a group project. Then when I'm done, I'll head on to the center at Metro Town to take the test. The FedEx lady said, if I get my license, I should let her know. So I'm taking the chance to take it. Even if the slot's not there, at least I'm going to get my license. But once I get my license, I'm going to call her to let her know I already have my license. So I have to take the knowledge and vision test today. Then I will take the driving test. Um, I've not picked a date for that yet, but I'm going to take it this week. I will practice with the driver before actually taking the main driving test. I think I'm ready for the knowledge test. So I'm going to share how it's going to go. I'm going to take the train now. Uh, I'm done with my class and it's kind of cold, so I have on my jacket. I'm just going to take the train to the test, um, take the train and then work for some minutes, like three minutes to the test venue. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Ta-da! <laughs> I passed the test. I'm going to share tips on how I was able to pass this test. First of all, this is the book I used to prepare for this test. Um, we got this book for free when we went to register for our BCID and we um, asked some information about getting a driver's license. That was when we came in in June and they gave us this book. You can get it for free. Um, so this is what I used to prepare throughout the weekend. And then I used the practice test on the ICBC website. I'm going to share the link um, to the website. So after reading this book, I ensured I practiced a lot, which I did from um, yesterday into today. For this test, you need to answer at least 40 questions correct. You have 50 questions in total, and you have to answer 40 questions correct. And if you fail 11 questions, your test automatically is cancelled. Like you've automatically failed everything. There's an option for skipping questions. If you know you're not sure of the answer to a question, you can skip that question um, at least, I think, three times. You can skip the question and then come back to that same question later. So, for example, 
let's say you don't you're not sure of the answers to number five um six seven eight and you skip it it's all going to move to the back after the 50th question before you get to that same question but if you answer up to 40 questions correctly before you get to that point you are going to pass the test so before i finished i got 40 questions and i was able to pass like that i actually booked online so you book an appointment to make it easier for you to really get a slot so i booked my appointment online so when i was done with taking the test um with the computer i had to do the vision test i had to um, read out some numbers and check like and some things through a screen and to read out numbers too i was given the yellow slip for me to book a road test the driver my husband used for his road test practice is very good so that's what i'm going to use i actually want to get my license this week i don't want to go out today again i'm not sure yet but i may book him for today to practice today and also practice tomorrow then i will book a road test for this week so it's actually not difficult just spend time they are just basic questions basic driving rules it's not that difficult you just have to read this to actually understand how the road works especially for some of us coming from countries where we don't really follow all these um, traffic rules you, there are so many new things for you to learn i also paid 15 dollars for this test you pay before you take the test so we just um called the driver to see if he's available for a practice test today and he said it's available so i'm going for a practice test for just one hour then i'll book another one for tomorrow then decide on what day i actually want to take the road test i hope my practice goes well so i can take the test soon hi so today is monday and um this is almost 8 a.m i tried booking for a road test last week but i couldn't get one so i got one for monday morning <laughs> luckily because all the slots were filled up i just saw this particular one open and i just picked it immediately so i have a um the road test by 9 45 a.m but i'm supposed to check in by 9 30 the driver that I have been practicing with, I have a one hour session with him before um, the road test. I practiced three times with him last week, um, one, one hour each. I practiced on Wednesday evening and Thursday morning and afternoon. So that's all I've done. So I want to do a last practice with him, one hour practice with him before my name test um i have a class this morning by 10 so i'm just going to go for the test when i'm done i'll just head to school <sighs> i hope i do well i just hope i pass it once overall <laughs> i don't want to take the test again okay. hi guys so i just passed my test <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Anyway, um, I have the driver here that helps me during my practice. He was letting me know how I was progressing with my driving. You know, I told you guys I practiced um, three times last week. And this is my driver over hey here. Hey guys, how are you doing? <laughs> so my name is Pranav and I'm the driving instructor here in Vancouver. I have my school with the name of Mainland Driving School Limited. And you can search me on Google, TikTok, Instagram, and my username is Mainland Driving School. If any of you have any query, you want to pass your class 5, class 7, you feel free to call me, contact me. My number is 778-388-0655. And uh, Echo and Francis, they both got their license at the very first yes. attempt. So yes. I can give you and help you getting the license at the first attempt. So you yes. need to contact me. I'll repeat my number, 778-388-0655. And I'll try my best so that you get your license at the very first attempt. Yeah. So, so yeah. guys, if you come to Vancouver, don't miss out from him. And I already have people lined up, ready to book him because I've been sharing my good experience with him. So, <laughs> thank so you all so the best. much. Uh, for, and like, what's your plan now? Are you going to buy a car? Uh, and you guys, one more thing, and you guys can also contact me if you want to buy any car yeah. over here in Surrey or Vancouver. So I can help you to get a good deal as well. He has very yeah. good deals. I can attest to that. So do contact him. Okay, okay I'm going to keep nice his, uh, the link sure. to his um, Instagram and um, I think Facebook. Yeah, sure, sure. And I'll Facebook you also. So you can Instagram. reach out to him. Or if you can't reach out to him directly, you can just let me know. Then I'll contact him yeah. for you. 
Hi, I'm so happy. My day is made. <laughs> hey guys. So I'm done with my class for today and I'm back home. And oh God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I was able to pass the knowledge test and also the road test. I'm so happy. Like, so I can start applying for jobs that require a class five license. I want to share some of the other things that I did um, to also pass my road test because there are so many new signs, especially coming from a country that we don't have this kind of road signs that we have here over there. So I had to learn a lot. Um, like I said, I booked uh, I booked the driver three hours last week for different days. One hour the first day and then um, the second two hours was same day, but one in the morning and one in the afternoon for my practice. For each of the session, I had to pay $50. Yeah, that's expensive if you actually want to practice for long that's expensive but in order not to spend too much i also watched youtube videos and shots um, i was able to learn um parallel parking and um, reverse parking on youtube so before i go for any of my sessions with him i ensure that i watch a lot of youtube videos a lot of youtube driving videos yeah and there are some YouTube driving videos that cover the routes that I used because there are different ICBC driving centers in Vancouver. So the particular center I picked, I watched videos um, about that area and I watched videos teaching me what to do, uh, mentioning uh, things I shouldn't fail to do, especially the, um, the 360 check, the mirror check and the um, shoulder check before taking any turn. I try to keep up with all those things. You know, you need to practice very well on the road, but I had limited time and I just wanted to like, just take it once and for all and be done with it. So YouTube videos helped me a lot. So if you want to um, take a test, I would advise you also watch videos online and also learn. Like for my reverse packing, I learned how to do the reverse packing um, from a YouTube shot. And then I tried it and um, it worked for me. Though during my test, I wasn't asked to do the reverse packing. I was asked to do um, parallel packing. So just get prepared so you don't waste money. Yeah, that's it. So don't forget to contact the driver if you're in Vancouver and you need um, a driver for your practice. And also if you need to get a car in Vancouver with good deals, you can reach out to him so i'm going to be sharing his contact i'm going to apply for jobs that require a class 5 license i don't want to do another job that is like the robotics tutoring job yeah i want something that i can easily go and do and then leave without stressing myself because um, my role i have to work on the curriculum and also try to keep the kids interested in what i'm teaching like school is stressing me on its own so i don't want something else that will stress me that much uh, I'm not talking about energy, but like something that I can easily go and then think of be thinking about something else. For the tech videos that I have not shared yet, from the last video, I said I was going to share on um, some of the essential tech skills needed um, to land your dream job. And I said I was going to um, share on some of those skills. Um, I'll try to create time to do that. I'm going to do that soon. So that's it guys. Thank you for following me on this journey. You can ask your questions about taking the knowledge test and the road test for class five. And um, yeah, I'll try to answer your questions. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also like and share my videos. Thank you for joining me. Bye.